Right now, there are thousands of remote IT tech jobs paying six figures, but nobody has the right skills or certifications to actually land them. Which is why in this video, I'm gonna share which of the lesser known certs that can actually get you hired, even if you don't have a college degree. And the best part, all it takes is a few weeks to complete and costs less than a new phone. So here are the five certifications that can land you a remote IT job earning 70,000 to 150,000 a year. Certification number one, the Google IT Support Certification. Nearly 1.4 million have taken this Google IT Support Certificate. It's one of the most proven entry points to get into tech that exists today because it could land you basically on the help desk. But here's what nobody tells you about the cert. Everyone assumes you need years of experience to work in IT. People are actually getting hired as help desk technicians with just this one cert. And the one other thing, which I'll tell you in a second. Now, how long does this take to get, you might ask? Well, you can take it on Coursera for about $49 a month, and it takes six months at 10 hours per week. But if you actually go through the Reddit threads and YouTube comments, people are completing in about one to two weeks when they treat it like a real job. So this is probably the fastest route to break into IT on the help desk without having to go to four years of college. And it's backed by Google, and which employers recognize. And on top of that, the pay is pretty solid. Entry-level roles start way beyond what I started at 28,000. In fact, starts at 47,000, upwards to 69,000 per year. Not too bad. And for eight weeks of work, I would use that to break into IT. But mid-level system analysts make anywhere from 91,000 to 135,000. And if you stick with IT as an IT director, you could earn anywhere from 150,000 to 275,000 annually. So with this cert, you're not just getting a job, you're getting a career path in tech that can help you break six figures. Next is certification number two, the Cisco CCNA. While cloud computing and software development get all the attention online, there is this silent giant in tech that nobody's talking about. Every major company needs one. They pay them premium salaries, by the way. I'm talking about network engineers, network architects, the people that design and maintain and secure a company's infrastructure. And the Cisco CCNA, along with another one I'll show you in a moment, is one of the best choices for an IT cert if you wanna become a network engineer. Now, this isn't some new trendy certification that might be worthless in five years. The Cisco CCNA has been launching IT careers for decades. This is the gold standard that's been proven for over 30 years. But what actually makes it valuable is 80% of enterprises run on Cisco. They're the market leader. That means that this certification is immediately valuable to employers worldwide on a global basis. Not just in the US or just at tech companies, but everywhere. Now let's talk about the pay scale. Entry level network technicians can earn anywhere from 50 to 70,000. Network admins, 65K to 95K. And senior engineers making anywhere from 90 to 150,000 per year. And if you're an actual, actual network architect, you're talking about 200K to 400K minimum. But there's a less competition for these jobs than software development or programming. And it's a solid career path that opens so many doors for me in my career. So this third is my best pick. Now, certification number three, the CompTIA Network Plus. All you used to hear about was online coding bootcamps, but I'm not sure why, because the CompTIA Network Plus remains the most respected entry-level networking certification in IT. It's vendor neutral, like I said, globally recognized, and teaches the fundamental of networking skills that every IT role builds upon. It'll benefit you, whether you're going into cybersecurity, data center technologies, cloud computing, or systems administration. Plus the salary range for Network Plus jobs is solid. Network support roles, 45K, 65K. Network admins, anywhere from 55K to 80K. And if you're a network engineer, you're gonna pass 100K plus the ability to earn multiple six figures. But interesting, the field has 65% less competition than software programming. So there's less competition and the pay is very similar, if not greater. And the best part, there's a hidden advantage of this cert that nobody mentions. Because because Network Plus is often a requirement for even government IT jobs through something called the DOD 8570 compliance. That means if you want a stable government contractor job with benefits, this certification can unlock that door and also serves as a perfect foundation for you getting the dense certification like the Cisco CCNA or the Security Plus, creating a stackable IT certification portfolio. Certificate number four, 
is the Salesforce Sales Operations Certificate. Every sales team in America uses Salesforce and the platform that runs multi-billion dollar companies right now. And companies are paying premium salaries for people who can simply operate and optimize Salesforce systems. The best part about this skill is way easier to learn than most people think because it's not about coding or configuration. And the pay is great as well. Sales ops specialists can earn anywhere from 52 to 79,000 starting out. And Salesforce admins can earn anywhere from 65 to 95K. And senior Salesforce architects can easily earn six figures or multiple six figures. And that's more than software engineers with a lower barrier to entry. Finally, certification number five, the full stack network engineer by NGT Academy. Being a network engineer doesn't sound sexy, but this is exactly why it's one of the smartest career moves you can actually make because the pay is great, it's stable, and there's not that much competition. And entry level roles can start around 75,000 and network engineers can break six figures and senior architects can earn anywhere from 200 to 400,000 annually. But here's what makes it all different from other certifications. While 50,000 people are taking the same Google cert and flooding that entry level IT market, networking remains an underserved niche. That means that you only be competing against dozens of candidates for jobs, not thousands. And through this cert, you'll gain industry insights into becoming a network engineer, systems engineer, or solution architect, covering routing, switching, security protocols, OSI layer, cloud networking, cybersecurity, and enterprise infrastructure. Basically all that Fortune 500 companies actively recruit for because their entire business depends on it. Now, before you rush off to sign up for one of those five certs, let me stop you right there. Picking the wrong certification for your personality and goals could be the fastest way to waste time and money. And that's why I created a free three minute quiz that analyzes your current skills, your work style, and your career goals to recommend which of the five certifications will get you hired the fastest. It's completely free. It takes three minutes and it'll save you from wasting months going down the wrong path. Click the link below, take the quiz, and let's get you on the path to your first remote IT job in 2026.